USA. This is Julia Made. We are back from our break. We're still going to talk about one government. Yes. The new name of God. Allow be that name. Did you reveal the name? <laughs> we, we had dealt in the previous episode that when Christ taught the disciples to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He did not reveal that name to any of the disciples. Mm -hmm. Okay? So his grace. Can we see uh, Revelations chapter 19? 19. 19, yes, please. From verse, verse, from verse 12. Yes. Revelations chapter 19. Read from verses 12 through 16, please. Okay. He said, His eyes were a, as a flame of fire, mm -hmm. and, he ha he, his, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written. That is that no man knew but he himself. Did you hear that? He had a name written mm -hmm. that no man knew but he himself. Yes. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Yes. And his name is called the Word of God. Yes. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, yes. clothed in fine linen. All his followers will clean. be found in the white robes. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this program now, what do you see him dressed in? White. White. Exactly. Continue. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, mm -hmm. that with it he should smite the nations, yes. and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yes. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he had on his vesture and on his tie a name written, yes. King of Kings mm -hmm. and Lord of Lords. You have any doubt? For Lord Jesus Christ. Is there any doubt? He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. And he comes into the world with a new name. This new name is the wisdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He intends to bypass all the sons of perdition that fill the whole earth. All the false prophets, all the liars, and all the contenders that parade themselves all over the earth. They have no access to his new name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And remember it is written, The kingdom of God is not in meat and in drink, yes. but in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now, anybody can be a name, even in the time of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. A lot of people had the name Yeshua. Yes. Yehoshua. Mm -hmm. eh? You come, if today, they have the country Jesus in the Spanish world, which is Jesus, but the name could mean nothing. The key is the power in the name. Yes. Anybody can be any name. Like in this generation, assuming that name was revealed, yes. that the name is going to be Andrew, you would have had millions of millions of Andrews all over the world claiming to be the thing. Yes. But whichever name you think it is the name, what justifies that name and what qualifies that name? The power is the key. Jesus came like, if you remember in Acts chapter 5, yes. when they were forbidding the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ from preaching in his name, and they brought them before the Sanhedrin council. Gamaliel stood up and told them, Ye men of Israel, hmm, be careful what you do with these men, mm -hmm. that if what they are doing is of God, it will stand. Mm -hmm. But if it is of man, it will fail, mm -hmm. that there are many who had come carrying, bearing, claiming to be the Messiah. Mm -hmm. They gathered their people by Jesus and so on and so forth, and their people scattered. So the same thing with this man, if what he's doing and his disciples are doing is of God, we cannot stand against it. So be that careful right. so that you not find yourself kicking or fighting against God. Sure. 2023 years down the line, the name Jesus Christ still rules. Yes. So the same thing with this new name. Whoever bears this new name with the power and authority yes. controls all the power of heaven. And you want me to read for you? Okay, sir. Acts of Apostles chapter 5 from verses uh, 35 through 40. Through 40, yes, sir. And said unto them, Ye men of, of Israel, take heed to yourselves 
what he intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Judas, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee, mm -hmm. in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from this man, mm -hmm. and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. <laughs> but if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You see it now. So that new name we are talking, when it will be unveiled, the beauty of this, he said, the test of the pudding is in the eating. Yes. It's not a name given out of, because remember that Paul and the seven sons of Sceva. Yes, yes. The Paul was doing work in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The seven sons of Sceva brought a madman and said, look, I command you the demon in the, in the madman mm -hmm. by the Jesus whom Paul preached yes. to get out of him. What did the evil spirit say? He told him, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Yes. Well, who are you? Exactly. <laughs> and the spirit dealt with them, <laughs> tore their clothes, and they said they, they ran out naked. Yes. One spirit, in, they see spirit in one man, yes. neutralized seven men. Because Paul was not speaking on his own authority. Mm -hmm. His power was divine. So God was working. So the same thing with this new name of God we are talking about. The name, whoever knows it, has the power from on high. And the name has the power to change all things. Because that's the name of righteousness and the name of judgment. But yes. explain to me, mm -hmm. the same Bible said all power yes. mm -hmm. were given to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and if I recall... Even in the everlasting gospel, yes. uh, Father Olumba has spoke about it. So if all power was given to our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that tells us that Jesus' name reigns supreme. Yes, it does. Yes. This name again is saying that it has power. It is the words of Christ. Christ, we had dealt with this in one of the episodes. Christ is the consummate power of God made manifest. Mm -hmm. Yes, as Christ is made manifested on the earth, mm -hmm. power is made manifest because mm -hmm. that's what Christ is. Mm -hmm. He express power of God our Father. Mm -hmm. So as he returns into the world, the scripture outlines to us that he is returning in a mm -hmm. new name. Mm -hmm. Power is in that new name. And you know your grace. So eh? power is no longer in the name of our Lord. If you don't understand something, sorry, yes, sir. Sure. The name Jesus is an institution. Yes. Christ is the power. Mm -hmm. Remember when Jesus Christ, when Jesus was born at the age of eight days, he was presented in the temple according to the law of Moses. Yes. From that eight days to the age of thirty, minus when he turned when in the marriage in Cana, when he turned water to wine. Yes. And the other when he was 12 years, when he was disputing with the wise men, yes. he didn't do any spectacular job. That's right. He was like every other person. Yes. But the moment he was baptized in River Jordan, exactly. and that spirit of God, the Christhood, yes. descended into him. Yes. Mm. The Christhood is an eternal office yes. that was before the creation. Yes. That's why he said in John chapter 8, verse 58, that before Abraham was, I am, I mm -hmm. am not Jesus that I am, but Christ. the Christ, which is God. Yes. So now, that Christ manifested in Jesus. Yes. Mm. So anywhere you see Jesus, he's a representative, yes. the representation of that Christ. Mm. And as he was going back, he is the same Jesus that told that he's coming back again. That Christ is coming back. Yes. But he's not coming to bear the name of Jesus because the name Jesus had a significance. Mm. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 called him Emmanuel, yes. mm -hmm. God with man. Mm. Yeah. But Matthew chapter 1 verse 24 called him Jesus because said he is coming to save his people from their sin. So he took the name of sin to save man. And that was why before he was crucified, he drank the cup of iniquity 
separating the Christ from Jesus so that sin will be crucified. Yes. And with the crucifixion of sin, on the third day, the Christ would return back to Jesus yes. and brought him back. So it is that Christ that has conquered death, yes. conquered sin, yes. conquered iniquity that yes. declared in Matthew 28 verse 18. All power is now given to him in heaven and on earth. Yes. So the Christ is the eternal power. Yes. It is that same spirit Christ that is coming with a new name. Yes. So any name he bears is the same spirit that was in Jesus, Correct. that is in that name. Exactly. It doesn't neutralize the power in Jesus. Amen. It enhances it. Yes. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. So Let's... the name of uh, Leda Olumba Olumba in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the greatest? This is the father <laughs> of the son. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the son of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the father arrives, the Lord of the vineyard, mm -hmm. Leda Olumba Olumba Obu. Mm -hmm. This is he that Christ was referring to mm -hmm. when he said, Hallowed be thy name. name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he even said, My Father which sent me is greater than I. I. Oh, so you practically telling our audience that yes. the name of our Lord Jesus Christ does have a power. Yes. And the name of Father Olumba Olumba Obu does have a power too. Absolutely. Be the Olumba Olumba Obu name is Greatest, it is the father of the son. Let's see about it. Read Isaiah 62, verse 2. The audience are invited to believe in the Holy Bible, not in false prophets, Isaiah. not in doctrines, which will help nobody. Prophet Isaiah says, as Christ is returning, as the father will come into the world, that he's going to come from amongst the Gentiles, and he shall be called. And let me read it for you. Please read by a new name. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 2 yes. says, And the Gentiles shall see the righteousness. Notice it's not saying Israel. Mm -mm. Please pay attention. It's a, and the Gentiles yes. shall see the righteousness, and all kings thy glory. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall, shall name. name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please believe in the words of God. It is salvation unto your souls. Not the words of men. The father returns out from amongst the Gentiles. And he returns with a new name. From the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament. To all the way to the book of Revelation in the New Testament. Yes. The same prophecy. And the prophecy is simple. You know, the mistake people are making is, we still repeat. Eh? Mm -hmm. Saying, okay, a father yes. is a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And the son is a billionaire. Yes. Right? They start saying who is bigger than the other. <laughs> the spirit is one. Yes. The Christ is eternal. Exactly. That's why when he said, when the, the rich the young Pharisee asked him, tell us what is the greatest commandment. Mm -hmm. What did he say? He lifted up his voice for everybody to hear him clearly say, Hear ye, O Israel. Yes. The Lord our God is one. The Lord is one God. Exactly. So whether you call him Jesus yes. or you call him Olumba, mm -hmm. the same Christ is one. Yes. And that was the spirit that was in the beginning that created all things. That's why I said in John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, it said, In the beginning was the word. Yes. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by the word. And without the word was not anything made that was made. What do you call Jesus Christ? The word of God. Yes. In Revelation chapter 19, he that came with a new name, what did he say again? The word of God. The word of God. Yes. So it is the same spirit, yes. but in a higher dimension because the spirit that manifested in Jesus came for one mission. Yes. Salvation. That is why as soon as that job was done on the cross, he said it is finished. finished. The job of this particular office yes. is done. Then coming back now is to come in absolute authority, yes. absolute power. Now the gate, the angel and the flaming sword that guard the garden of Eden have been removed. Mm -hmm. Now access is brought into the Holy of Holies. Now the Lord God Almighty is now ready to manifest his glory Amen. for all eyes to see. Amen. And for all his children now Amen. to come to him mm -hmm. and receive life. And this is the time. And Paul, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul wrote clearly. To the people of Hebrews, mm -hmm. he said, and again, mm -hmm. when he bringeth forth the first begotten, God says, and let all the angels of God worship him. Yes. Confirming that all powers in heaven and on earth, including death, Hades, are now under him. 
In the name of our Lord Jesus. I think I can read it for you. Ah, Hebrews yes, chapter 1 verse 6. Yes. He said, And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, mm -hmm. he said, And let all the angels of God yes. worship him. You hear that? When the first begotten for the second time on the repeat play is brought into the world, not in the air, mm -hmm. not in the clouds, mm -mm. not in the galaxies, mm -mm. in the world. Yes. Where are we living in right now? <laughs> yes. Even Jude. Jude verse 14. Yes, please 13, read. 14 said it. He said, and Enoch, I read from verse 14 and 15. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jude and Philemon are the only chapters in books in the Bible that have only one chapter each. Mm -hmm. He said, and Enoch, the servant from Adam, prophesied of this saying. You know, remember Enoch, the inspector? Yes. Whom God sent to inspect the earth, and he was taken up without death. Mm -hmm. And when he went back to God, the world of Noah was destroyed because of his report. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, and Enoch, the servant from Adam, prophesied of this saying. Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints mm. to execute judgment yes. upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds mm. which they have ungodly committed mm. and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Yeah. All of this takes place on the earth. Mm -hmm. So, neither or longer greatest than our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a father and the son. That is correct. <laughs> Can we hear it from the scriptures? John Not 14, verse 28. Yes. Your grace and mm -hmm. it. We see it in the Bible, yeah. even in real life. Yes. Uh, the disciple passing demons in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And we see also. As in real life, we see people praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We see a result, authentic. So what do you have to tell our audience? Because you said the name Olumba Olumba Bo is greater than our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have some example that you can give us? That Absolutely. That name Let's is start powerful. from John 14, verse 28. Yes. John 14, 28. Yeah. So you have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you will rejoice because I said, I go unto the Father. Yes. For my Father is greater than I. Uh, <laughs> it's the word of Christ. Leader Olumba Olumba Abu. 150 years before he was born. Mm -hmm. 150 years. The woman in the village was given a dream. This woman, her husband had just died mm -hmm. and they were mourning, preparing for the burial. Then she was given a dream just before the burial. Mm -hmm. She saw a man in her dream who was dressed in a white top and a white shorts. The man came to her and in that dream, she saw the, the body of the dead husband mm -hmm. in her dreams. The man revealed himself to her that his name is love, that his name is the way, mm. that his name is the truth, that his name is the word of God. Four properties given to her. He took her finger and wrote three circles mm. on the body of the dead husband in the dream. He drew the four circle on the husband's forehead drew the second circle over his heart and the third circle over his right knee. Mm. Immediately, the dead husband rose from dead back to life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That was in the dream. Yes. When she woke up, the husband that died is alive. Mm. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I openly challenge all of you, all the pastors, all the evangelists, all the gurus worldwide, to give us this testimony of what you did 150 years before you were born. But there's even the one that happened in the first place. Yes. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star was established in Calabar, mm -hmm. at Gumba, yes. in Akwabuyo local government. Mm -hmm. The Holy Father sent the tight box. This is a small mm -hmm. tight box. Yes. And I've seen that tight box with my eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what is written in it? Mm -hmm. God is in his holy temple. Amen. Not the Lord. Yes. God. 
is in his holy temple. Exactly. Let all the earth keep silence before, before him. him. Now, as they carried this box from the creek, because the bank where they brought it, the canoe, yes. was like a slope on a rocky hill, very hard granite hill. As they were bringing this tight box out, there's a market on top mm -hmm. of that hill. And there's this man, he was born mad from childhood, he was a lunatic, yes. walking naked in the community, and he's in the Middle Ages. Yes. They said, as soon as this man saw this boss, he was shouting, who brought God to this community? Amen. Who brought God to this community? Yes. Who brought God to this community? Amen. The man fainted. By the time he recovered from his faint, yes. the madness was gone. Did you hear that? The testimonies <laughs> in Brotherhood of the Cross of the Star is so numerous, mm -hmm and cannot and will not be heard anywhere else oh. in the name of our lord jesus Christ. amen so we're talking about power mm -hmm. the power of god so how do we address him because when we pray yes calling the name of g in the name of jesus everything so that we do father yes do we say in the name of Olumba, we pray in the name of our lord jesus christ yes in the precious blood of our lord jesus christ amen. all honor remember the Father comes to glorify the Son. Yes. yes. Just as the Son gave glory to the Father. Mm -hmm. So he glorifies the Son, mm -hmm. honor to the Son, because that is exactly what is written. So all prayers, all songs, all are done and given glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And John chapter 14, verse 6 stated it clearly. Yes. So Jesus said unto them, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth. Yes and the life mm -hmm. no man cometh unto the father but by me he was the master key yes. his blood because remember when adam and eve were driven from the garden of eden he said and a, a cherub and a flaming sword we are kept like this yes. blocking the way of the garden his blood opened the way mm -hmm. so his name is the passcode to the presence of the father yes. once you invoke the name of our lord Jesus, even if you want to know who olumbo olumbo Obu is Kneel down, say, Father, in yes. the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Exactly. These two mad people who wore white <laughs> in the television, and we are telling all that it's no longer Jesus, but yes. a man called Olumbo Obu. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. tell me, who is this man? Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Exactly. I'm sure you will get the answer, yes. and you will confirm that we are not mad, yes. but we are sharing the truth we have known. And many in have the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, mm. absolutely. Wow. But my question yes. was really this. How do you address to Leda Olumba Olumba Obu? He is, say? he is addressed okay. as Leda Olumba Olumba Obu. Uh -huh. He says, call me Leda. The sole spiritual head of the universe. That is correct. The soul, the only. And he is addressed as the father. The father. Okay. The promised comforter. Exactly. You know? And you know why it's called the sole spiritual head of the universe? In the which in the, in the wisdom, he is the head. Mm -hmm. Even in hell and Hades, he rules over that place. Yes. In the kingdom of the occult, yes. in the mystical bodies, in the esoteric bodies, mm -hmm. in the psychic bodies, any spiritual body in the universe, yes. both in the water, in the fire, in the air, he is the sole spiritual head. All powers, all authorities, yes. all spirits submit to him. Can I read for you, please? Yes, please. Colossians chapter 2. I'll read from verse 8 through 10. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And where you see that power, and it is pure and righteous, yes. follow it. Exactly. You know, this one is not a case of maybe, mm -hmm. could have been, <laughs> should have been. No. We are not telling you to follow our word, yes. right? Yes. But go and try. In your innermost sanctum, I know men who have basin and mirrors and so on, they don't have to do conjurations. Yes. Use all the mystic and esoteric and occult books. Yes. Just when you go, write the name. Let me spell it for you. O-L-U-M-B-A, yes. Olumba. O-L-U-M-B-A, Olumba. Yes. O-B-U, Obu. Amen. Write it on paper. Write it in your cipher, in your Libra, in your code. 
Put it in your sanctum, in your sacred circle, wherever you do your conjuration or invocation. Invoke upon that name. When you get the answer, please go to the news and tell them what you saw. Exactly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, since we talk about little Lumba Lumba Obi, Obu being the powerful, the father, Amen. I would really love for our audience in the next episode to know him more yes. than he is. Because you can't just follow if you don't know who you follow. Yes, and since he's up on earth, yes. dwelling with us, yes. even though we are now with him, he oh he's here, you said it all the time, but mm -hmm. physically he is up on earth. It would be really Amen. nice for us to know more about him. So we'll come back Amen. and talk about it later. Thank Peter, you. Uh, the sole spiritual head of the universe, Lady Lumba Lumba. Stay tuned, we'll be back. Thank you. Thank you.